Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we are starting a new topic. This topic is from uh, chapter 19, electricity. We'll be looking at the charges, different types of charges, and the induced forces uh, between those charges. Also, we'll be looking at uh, the electric field generated by those charges and how this is affecting the, the forces as well. So let's start with uh, electric charges. It was Benjamin Franklin who started uh, exploring uh, the behavior of those charges and he uh, discovered that there are two types of charges, positive and negative, with a famous experiment he conducted to evaluate the nature of those charges. He found that the lightning was an electrical phenomenon. So what do we know about uh, those charges? We know that uh, every atom has uh, a nucleus that is small and massive in the center of the, of the atom. This nucleus has uh, protons that are positive in charges and neutrons that are neutral in, in the charges. Also, outside this nucleus, there are electrons that are floating around this nucleus that have uh, negative charges that are called electrons. The SI unit for uh, those charges is Coulomb, and the charge for a positive proton is given by 1.602 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. However, the electron is also the same charge of magnitude. However, it is negative 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. So a proton has the same charge in magnitude as the electron. However, the masses are completely different. So this is, the this is the nucleus, as we can see here, it has the positive charges and the neutrons. However, the, the negative, the electrons, are floating around this nucleus. So the first law we will be looking at here is Coulomb's law. Uh, this law basically states that the magnitude of the force exerted from one charge on another equals to the K, proportional to the K, which is the proportionality constant given by 8.99, 10 to the power minus nine, Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared, times the magnitude of the first charge, times the magnitude of the second charge, divided by the distance squared. So if we are to look at those, uh, induced forces, I will uh, have two cases actually. First case is case number one. In this case, I have the charges Q1 and the Q2 being like charges. In this case, this Q1 positive and this one is positive. So this is the first case, or the second case, or the other option is this one is negative and this one is also negative. So I have this or this, both are like charges. So what happens when I have the charges being from the same type? In this case, the force, the induced force will be repulsive, which means if I am to evaluate the force exerted on Q, Q2 due to Q1. In this case, it will be repulsive, which means pointing away. So now this one is F due to one on two. And then if I am to evaluate the force due to Q2 on a Q1, it will be in this direction, F to one. However, in this case, I have 
the magnitude of F12 are the same. However, they're in an opposite direction, which means that vector-wise, they will be like this. Magnitude-wise, they will be F12 equals to F21. Now, let's evaluate the, the force exerted. In this case, I have F12, F12 equals to K Q1 Q2 divided by R squared. And in this case, I have to pay attention that the direction will be pushing away. So Q1 is pushing Q2 away and Q2 is pushing Q1 away. Why? Because they are they have the same type of charge. Both are either positive or negative. Magnitude-wise, this is how you calculate the magnitude. Direction-wise, you have to pay attention to the, to the sign of the charge. Like charges, they repel. Now my case number two, so here, like charges, here, opposite charges if I so I'll redraw Q1 and again this is a Q2 in this case because they are from opposite so either Q1 positive Q2 negative or Q1 negative, Q2 positive. So this is the first option. It's the second option. Both of them are different. You have to pay attention that in this case, the force will be attractive. If I am to evaluate force exerted by Q1 on Q2, then in this case, if I am to make this one Q1, then the force F12 will be attractive. If I am to this Q2 as painted in green, then I will be looking at the F21 due to Q2 on the Q1 as this and in this case I know that F to 1 again vector wise it is in the opposite direction this is why I write it this way magnitude wise they are the same right magnitude wise they are the same so I have them here attractive so when you calculate the magnitude, you use this equation. Let's say F12 equals to K, Q1 times Q2 over R squared. This is how you calculate the magnitude. However, the sign of the charges is the one that tells you what, what type of force you have. Is it repulsive force or attractive force? So if I am to do this the same here, this one blue, then this is F12. If this is a green, then the force due to Q2 on the Q1 as F21. Okay, moving on to the next uh, slide. We have here um, a question. We need to basically decide which figure represents the, the answer for this question. So here we have two spheres, as you can see. Both spheres, they have positive charges distributed on. However, sphere number two, 
has three times the charge of a sphere number one. So I can say Q2 equals to 3Q1, right? Which diagram correctly shows the electric forces that the spheres exert on each other? What did we understand from evaluating the Coulomb's law? We understood that uh, forces, if they are like charges, then they, they repel each other. If they are opposite, then they attract each other. So let's look at uh, the charges we have here. We have a po two positive charges. Then the force is repulsive. In this case, I will eliminate this, and I will also eliminate this, because this, those vectors do not, do not represent a repulsive force. The remaining three cases represent a repulsive force. However, however, we said that the magnitude should be the same, regardless of the value of the charge. Although Q2 is a three times Q1, but still, the magnitude is the contribution of both. The contribution of both charges. So, if I am to calculate F12, magnitude wise, it will be the same as F21, which means this is eliminated and this one is eliminated as well. So, the correct answer to this question would be case number number five. Let's look at this example. Here we have two ping pong balls sit on the table, separated by one centimeter. Both have been charged. The first has a charge of one to the power minus nine coulomb, the second has a charge of minus 3, 10 to the power minus 10 Coulomb. What is the magnitude of the electric force between these two ping pong balls? If the ping pong balls each have a mass of 0 0.01 kilogram, what initial, what initial acceleration will each experience from this force? Okay. Now, we have here this is one of them is Q1 they're separated by one centimeter the first has a charge of let me call this one Q1 and call this one Q2. So Q1 is 1 to the power minus 9 Coulomb. This is a posit uh, positive charge. Q2 is minus 3, 10 to the power minus 10 Coulomb. A, what is the magnitude of the electric force between these two ping pong balls? So we know that those two charges are from opposite types, which means the force will be attracted. So in this case, if I am to evaluate the force due to Q1 on a Q2, it will be attractive and going in this direction. Let me make this one blue, then the same if this one is a green, then the force exerted on a Q1 due to Q2 will be going in this direction. So let me call this one F21 and call this one F12. Now if I am to calculate again the magnitude, it's this F12 equals to F21 equals to K times Q1, Q2, divided by R squared. And in this case, I have 
F12 equals to F21 equals to 8.99 10 to the power 9 times magnitude, which is 1 to the power minus 9. Magnitude, again, I substitute the Qs with, uh, as magnitude, and then based on the, the understanding of the type of charge, I will decide on the force. So here it will be magnitude. This one it will be also magnitude divided by one centimeter as 10 to the power minus two meter squared. In this case, F12 equals to F21. If you do the calculation, this is going to be 2.7, 10 to the power minus 5 newton. B. Now here, if the ping pong balls each have a mass of 0 0.01 kilograms for both, so this is M1 and also M2 kilograms, what initial acceleration will each experience from this force? We know that F equals to MA, so in this case, we have A equals to F divided by M. Then if I am to look at A12 due to F12, then A12 equals to 2.7 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 0 0.01 and then I have A12 equals to A21 equals to 2.7 and this is 10 to the power minus 3 meter per second squared. Now this is magnitude again if you want to write uh, this in vector then F12 will be pointing, so in this case, if we say this is the, the east, then F12 will be A12 will be 2.7 to the power minus 3 meter per second square west, the same direction as F12, west, however, F21, A21, will be 2.7, 10 to the power minus 3 meter per second square east.